What's going on YouTube? We are here today with another workout and I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to record in your commercial gym. So this workout that we're about to watch here is actually the very first time I've recorded in my commercial gym. Now I go to 10 gym and they only have these gyms in Oklahoma I believe. So um, if you live anywhere other than here, uh, you're just going to have to find out which gym lets you record. Um, my first piece of advice would be to not ask for permission and I would not recommend this in any other aspect of life but um, in this case it's almost better to ask for forgiveness than permission um, only because if let's say you've been going to your gym for a long time and you now just want to start recording well if you ask for permission and they say no and you still want to record then you either have to cancel your gym membership or you just can't record there. Um, or you can just take your phone out, start recording, or your small camera, start recording your workouts. And if there is an issue and people do get mad at you, like staff gets mad at you, then you just put it away and, and, and at least you got something recorded. But it's not going to be a huge deal. They're not going to kick you out of the gym. They're just going to say, hey, can you stop recording? And you'll be like, yeah, I'll respect your rules and, and not record. But, um, so yeah, I didn't ask for permission. I just took my phone out and started recording. No one said anything, no staff said anything, no uh, gym members said anything to me, so that was good. Um, my next piece of advice would be to use something small and discreet. Now, I'm using my phone um, to record this, but if you have a smaller, like, Sony camera, and a Canon camera, even Nikon, smaller Nikon cameras, you can use that. Um, just something that's not overwhelmingly large that makes people feel uncomfortable and wondering if they're getting in your shot too. Um, which leads me to my next piece of advice, which would be to not purposely not include other people in your shots. Just because you don't know if people, like you're not talking to these strangers and you don't know if they want to be posted on YouTube for millions of other people to see. So try your best to be courteous and just get yourself in your own shots um, and that might require you to go to the gym earlier uh, or later, just whatever fits with your schedule. Um, but there can be some pretty big issues if they find themselves on YouTube with thousands of views and, and you don't want to be put in that situation. So um, don't include other people. And my next piece of advice would to be if you have a training partner, they can hold the camera, that's great. But if not, get one of these um, Gorilla tripods. They're really small. I don't, I mean, this is compared to my hand, pretty small. So you can place this down on the ground um, and still get a good shot. And it's really discreet, so not many people can see this if they're not looking for it. Um, and my last piece of advice would be to hide your camera not or just place it in a spot that is kind of in, uh, conspicuous so people don't really see your camera there um, obviously you can't do every exercise with your camera kind of hidden in a corner but if you can that'd be great um, that just help keep things um, you know a little more secretive or just make people feel less uncomfortable with the camera being there um, but yeah, other than that, just go for it. Just see what happens. Um, like I said, the worst thing that can happen is people say no. Um, you cannot record. Um, in that case, you might have to switch gyms or just not record your workouts. But um, yeah, that'll, that'll be it for my tips. Um, let's dive into this workout clip and commentary. Also forgot to give a shout out to my new clothing company. Or it's not my company, but they are working with me. Um, Wolfpack Gym Apparel sent me a few shirts, a couple shirts. They only have two shirts right now, but they are launching um, another shirt and a pair of joggers and maybe other gear very soon, so be on the lookout for that. I will put my code, it is EJ10, down in the description box, so you guys can get 10% off your purchase. Um, I'll make a completely different video going over this company, going over their clothing. So be on the lookout for that. All right, so I started this workout, this shoulder and chest workout with overhead press. I always start my workouts with compound movements. So I built up to my one rep max and then did a drop set after that. I did not get my one rep max recorded for whatever reason, the orientation was messed up. So this is the only clip I have, but um, I did that. And then I moved on to incline dumbbell press. 
and my upper chest is the, the weakest part in my uh, chest in terms of looks. So I implemented priority training and that is training your weakest body parts first. So that's what I did, incline uh, dumbbell press hits the upper chest the most. So I did, uh, I built up to 90s. Um, one thing I am disappointed about is during my cut, I've noticed my incline dumbbell strength has decreased the most, um, but that's just part of the process. I'm still pushing 90s, but not with the greatest form, not with the greatest range of motion, but um, can't really do much about that. So the next exercise I did was seated side lateral raises. Um, I like doing these seated because it eliminates your body English. You're not swinging your, your chest back and forward and back and forth. Um, you're keeping that body still and just focusing on the shoulder contraction, which um, I mean, by the end of your set, you're burning. Um, you're really feeling it. So give these a try if you've never tried these seated. Um, I guarantee you'll feel it in your shoulders a lot more. And the next exercise we did was a chest fly machine or the pec deck, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really like this exercise for building your inner chest, getting that line right here, getting that definition. Um, every time I'm bringing my arms together, I'm thinking about squeezing those elbows together. Um, if your elbows are closer, you're getting more of a, a contraction in your inner chest. So if you're lagging on that inner chest line, give this machine a try. And then next, we did the Arnold press, four sets of eight to 12 reps. Um, I like these because when you're pushing your weights out, you're working the, the side part of your delts a lot. And then obviously at the pressing, you're working the whole entire shoulder. Um, so you're getting a little more side delt action when you're spreading those weights apart. Um, so give these a try. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger loved them and he had a great physique. So. I figured they should probably work for you and me. Um, next exercise we did was hammer strength press. I really like this machine because you can push more weight than just dumbbells and everything is in line for you. You don't have to worry about stabilizing the weight so you can really um, add on a few pounds on this exercise and still target your upper and inner chest when pushing. And next we did a drop set. Um, on most of my exercises that I do, I do like to do drop sets just to squeeze in more volume in my muscles. Um, and it really helps you feel that pump. Hold on, my video paused here. Uh, so yeah, I did a drop set, just really working that muscle. Uh, next exercise we did was the single arm shoulder press machine. You can do both arms at the same time if you want. I chose to do single arm just to focus on the shoulder contraction more. Um, what I did on this machine is I kind of scooted over to the side that I was working on and uh, raised the seat as high as I could so that way I got as low as I can go on the machine and then you can go back up. So I didn't actually extend my arm all the way. I didn't want to take any tension off my shoulder. I didn't want to be resting at the top and I never rested the machine down at the bottom. So that way your shoulder is working the whole entire time um, on the concentric and eccentric contraction. So you're going up and then you're uh, fighting to lower it down as well. So you're feeling the burn the entire time. Uh, next exercise is face pulls. Not the greatest angle for recording, but um, it was the only way I could get the shot in without putting my camera somewhere like in the middle of the walkway. So for these, I really recommend you doing lower weight and just squeezing at the um, top of the rep. So that way you're really feeling the contraction. There's small muscles back there. You don't need to do a ton of weight. You don't need to be swinging the weight around. Um, just small, small weight, focus on the contractions. And next, we did a chest finisher. This is the last chest movement of the workout. Um, just did the cable flies. Start out with like more of a traditional fly, crossing those arms to get the full contraction, like always. And then after I did about eight reps of this, I was switched over to kind of like a um, pressing motion. So instead of doing a fly, I did a press where you're bending your arms back and kind of mimicking like a bench press or dumbbell press. Still crossing those arms to get the full contraction. Um, not super heavy weight, just trying to, you know, really feel a pump in your chest for the end of the workout. So we did that. 
Um, and like I said, about eight reps for both of these, supersetted, no rest or anything like that. And after I did three sets of this, I did the shoulder finisher. I actually got this routine from um, Jeremy Buendia's Instagram. Uh, if you don't know him, he's a two-time Olympia, Mr. Olympia in men's, men's physique. So um, awesome dude, he replies to your comments. He's Filipino, I'm Filipino, so I like him a lot. I look up to him. Um, so yeah, I did around the worlds. I think I did eight sets, as you can see, as or eight reps. As you can see, I was really struggling. Um, then I went immediately to rear delt flies. Uh, I think I did 10 reps on here. And then um, after the rear delt flies, um, I used to do these with side lateral raises at the end, but since I already did those earlier in the workout, I switched to a front raise with the bar. Um, and yeah, just really getting the pump in the shoulders. For these, you also wanna keep your wrist kind of flat and make sure your elbows are the highest point. Um, don't pull with your wrists up, pull with your elbows up. And that's gonna do it for the workout, guys. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips on how to record in your commercial gym. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. If you guys have any questions about it, just be sure to ask them in the comment section below. Um, sorry this video is a little bit longer than I planned on it being, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at EJ underscore fitness, and I'll see you guys next time.